Hi folks, Carl here again from the AAEC forum. Richo71 is the avatar. Review time again. And this time it's for a uh, rebuildable dripping atomizer. I uh, purchased this from uh, elegantvapor.co.uk. Now, uh, although they've got the website, this shop is local to me. A uh, great bunch of lads in there as well. Uh, been open about three months and they're having a vaping lounge as well in there. So uh, in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, really, really good. Uh, spent an hour up there last week uh, due to go back up there again this week sometime but I bought a couple of purchases and I thought I'll do a, a review on them and uh, the first one is it's made by Infinite which is uh, one of the better clone manufacturers out there at the moment and uh, it's the uh, Stellaire clone rebuildable dripping atomizer uh, we'll take the bits and pieces out of the packaging. When it came from, uh, when I picked it up in the shop, uh, and all the clones were bagged up in the uh, infinite uh, plastic wrapping that you have to rip off. So yeah, it comes all bagged up nicely. There was a little bit of uh, milling oil in there and stuff like that. So I just, uh, as always with these, you need to rinse them out with the uh, fairy liquid and hot water before you use them. So we'll put that to one side. So you get your bag of spares as usual. Uh, this one's got three spare screws in, brass screws, and uh, O-rings and wick and wire. So that's nice to see three spare screws in there. Some some uh, RDA clones you're just getting one spare screw at the moment. So that's what we've got. It does come with a drip tip as well which is nice to see. Uh, I've seen a couple of them on other vendors websites uh, that don't come, they, it just comes just like that. So uh, yeah it does come with a drip tip. This is a, a 304 grade stainless steel a brushed finish uh, drip tip stainless steel as well. Very nice uh, deep etchings on, on this very very nice. You got the Stellaire logo and then the serial number is on the back and uh, there's nothing on the bottom uh, etching wise now we'll, uh, we'll start at the top that's the drip tip which is a nice brush finish that's nice and deep as well there the uh, the etching on the drip tips nice and deep the etchings are very very good on this very good now this is a three piece uh, atomizer, dripper should I say. I'm not doing a build today uh, I've already built it but I'll tell you what I've done and I'll show you what I've done uh, it's just easier to show you the the, the uh, dripper without going through a build, you've seen people building these before anyway if you're watching this review uh, if I get to comments wanting me to build on, on camera I will so we'll start at the top one o-ring this slides inside, this is the inner part of the rebuildable dripping atomizer and it's got a reduced chamber in there as well. Uh, when this is all built up, the, that chamber is very, very close to the uh, top post so it does reduce down inside. Uh, it's got the Cyclops elongated type air holes which are quite big. Now I'm just doing a quick measurement on them. In length they are about 7 mil in length and about one mil one mil in, in depth. So seven by one elongated air holes so yeah very nice very nice feel to it now this is the outer section this only goes on obviously one way anyway onto the deck it's got a uh, recess there that sits onto the deck but yeah very nice again uh, the etchings are very nice on this and uh, serial number there so yeah, that's very nice. Nice brush finish to this. And then we've got the deck. 
Now, start with a 510. 510 is gold plated. Now, I believe it's. I'm not going to make an assumption on whether it's gold plated brass or gold plated copper, it's just gold plated. So, uh, without making any assumptions. So, but it says gold plated. What? A uh, uh, carrot and that, I don't know. And then we've got gold plated posts. The screws, although they're shiny, they are brass. Uh, I don't, I don't believe looking at this, it's not they're not as shiny as the posts. They're, they're just brass. So the the posts are gold plated, and the heads the the, the heads of the screw the, the screws are brass. Now it has a pretty deep channel in there with a couple of uh, drilled out holes as well. Uh, now this is coiled up. It's a dual coil set up in this. You can't run it in a uh, single coil. Well, you can, but you'll have. You, there's no way of blocking uh, the air holes off. It's just the design of it. It's really set up for dual coils. Now I've got a dual coil set up here. It's a horizontal coil, micro coils, and seven wraps around one of this these type screwdrivers. It's just the little tiny ones that you get. Uh, Twenty-eight gauge cancel. And uh, that comes out at 0 0.6, I think it is on the ohms meter. 0 0.6 last time I looped, but we'll check it again just to give you a 0 0.67. That's uh, coiled at. So, yeah, seven wraps of 28 gauge cancel around one of these uh, little screwdrivers, which I think they're about 2 mil. 1.5 2 mil. So we'll uh, I'll put it on a a mech. Let me get my mech sorted. Just going to use my uh, Stingray fresh charged battery. Got a fresh freshly charged AWIMR nipple top in the copper Stingray. And uh, I'll put this onto the stingray and I'll show you it uh, the coils glowing away. Screw it up. There we go. Coils glowing away nicely there. Lock it off. And we'll uh, Build it with a bit of, well, we'll wick it, should I say, not build it. We'll put some cotton in there. Uh, you'll get to used to how how much cotton you need to, uh, to have to normally pull a bit off and then halve it again. And then... I mean, I use, I mean, I use loads like it, but it's cheap as chips, the uh, organic cotton wool. This is the stuff I use, I'll just show you. It's just the organic cotton balls. These are from uh, Holland and Barrett, uh, but you can pick them up, pick it up Boots or even Asda and that nowadays. So all we do is we're just shoving the uh, cotton, or threading the cotton through the, the wicks. And what I do is a, I do a, a twist and pull method with the cotton. Don't want your cotton really tight in there. So when you pull it, as soon as you start feeling a bit of resistance on the cotton in the coils, uh, that's time to stop because it'll strangulate the coils else. So that's what we've got. There's one. I'll cut cut them off now. What I've been doing is I've been cutting it for the side that's uh, got the uh, that's away from the coil. The bigger, the more more space there. I've been just cutting that off it's a bit longer, and then the one where the coil is next to the outer edge. I've been cutting that off quite short. So 
start being cutting it off just so you can uh, you can that's how I've been doing it so the coil you could wrap, just fold that straight under there then so you haven't got much to uh, try and get underneath that coil and then this one just folds in under itself again I'll show you that again in a minute and then uh, another piece here Mm, that wasn't very good. I'm not pulling up all properly. Let's see. Right. It's falling apart. Right. That's too much. Pull that bit off there. So we'll thread it up again. You always get one, you can't get through straight away. That's it. So the twist and pull again just to get it nice and just want it nice and snug in them coils that'll do just cut that there the side the like I said where the coils closest to the outer edge I cut trim that shorter that's it so <coughs> all you need now is to just uh, pack your cotton in I mean, I'd do it without putting any juice on it first. That's it, that's that bit in. And then shove the other one under it. Just fold the cotton back on itself and then with this type of deck. And then that's what you've got. That's all done. I just folded uh, this end here just back on itself. You can pack the cotton in whichever way you want, as long as it's here, uh, you know, not sticking right over the edges or anything like that. But yeah, it's just you'll get used to the, the way that you do it yourself. So we'll get some juice. Let's move this out of the way. Right, this is my Yorkshire Fog, which I've been talking about a bit on the uh, on the forum. And it's absolutely beautiful stuff. It's 50-50 uh, stuff, this is. It's Vaping Kings. Uh, all this juice is a 50-50. Uh, and I purchased 100 mil of it the other day. Last week. Beginning of the last week. So we'll just soak these wicks. Soak the wicks up nicely. Test by it. And I'll take the lock off it. Chugging away. And again, look at that. It does hit really hard, this one. This side. Uh, RDA. Now, obviously your air hole. This is the this is the outer section. You put this on. Let's put this juice over there. Put this on. Uh, you got to have your air holes opposite the coils. So you put that on. So I'll show you inside now. So the air holes are right opposite the coils. And then you put your top cap on. Which is it? Also got the inner sleeve. Line them up. And that becomes your. That then becomes your. Where you can close. Your where you can close off the air holes. 
to whatever you desire. And then your drip tip. You just drip a few more drips down the centre. And then we'll take a, a toke on it and see what it uh, performs like. That's beautiful. That Yorkshire fog is beautiful stuff. Just muddy mints. Even in there, even lung hitting there, still air, it's, it hits really hard. It hits harder than my uh, TOBH. I think the TOBH is uh, a lot smoother vape. And uh, a lot of, I think a lot more flavoursome out the TOBH than this. But it is still nice, just I think this hits a bit harder. You could... I mean, I use 12 milligram, 6 to 12 milligram juice in the still air. Uh, you could probably get away with the, uh, because the throat hits that much, I believe it's that much. I've got the same kind of coil in the TOBH as I have in the still air. But uh, I think the way the airflow flows around in the TOBH gives you a smoother vape because it's got that conical design at the top. Just my personal. Uh, experience with the two atomizers really with the two drippers but this one does really hit hard on the back of the throat stacks of vapor don't forget it's only 50 50 as well you know it's 50 50 juice if you want really clouds but less flavor you just go for 100% VG or 80% VG or something like that if you want a cloud chase and that I'm not into all that really I just I like these uh, drippers for flavour with that reduced chamber in here I think that's what's giving it the hit as well obviously the the coil build is virtually the same in here as it is and there's 0 0.67 that one's 0 0.7 so it's very 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 similar but uh, very nice clone very very good clone £15 uh, if you spend £20 with elegantvapor.co.uk, you get free UK shipping as well. So, uh, you know, you can stick something else in there to uh, make the basket up to 20 quid or over. And uh, they'll send it out free. But, yeah, can't really say much more about it, guys, really. It's, it is a really, really good clone of the original. Uh, looks stunning on the, uh, on the black copy. Uh, I've got a. Uh, I'll just stick it on something else just to show you. I'll stick it on my. Uh, I've got a review for this coming up. I'll just take my Kangat hank off it. This swapping mechanicals over it does take a little bit of time. Sorry about that. Because we've all got different uh, threading, different length uh, threads. It is quite large, the 510 thread on this, quite long. Not large, long. Uh, I'll just give you a. I've got my scales here. I'll just give you a, how heavy it is. Because it is a quite a heavy atomizer. Dripper. I keep calling it an atomizer. It's 62 grams in weight. <clears throat> Excuse me, 62 grams in weight where the TOBH for comparison is 35 grams. So we're talking, you know, although that's going you know, that's got a stainless steel drip tip. Without the drip tip, it's still 53 grams. So the you know the drip tip alone is eight grams. That's why I'm getting on my scales here anyway. So yeah, 62 grams in total, which is quite heavy for a dripper. So I'm just going to screw it onto my 69 mod, which I've got a review coming up of. 
I'll just alter this uh, pin. the silver pin in. Screw it onto me 69. Oops. I think two seconds. It's too long. I just like to show it you on another device as well see so See what I show you what it looks like. I have to set up all the uh, 510. That's what it looks like on the 69. Looks really nice. Really, really nice. Show you that again. I've got the 69 set up on the, the switch at the top. I've got a review for this coming up next. But yeah, it looks really nice. vapor bloody hell fantastic dripper guys fantastic dripper flavors excellent uh, for 15 quid uh, it's it's a no-brainer again there's some really good drippers out at the moment uh, I still personally prefer my TOBH that's my uh, favorite dripper dripper of the moment for, for me uh, like I said it is weighty it is 62 grams, so it does make your device a bit top heavy. Uh, but uh, I think it does look really nice. Really, really nice. The gold plated posts in there and the, and the gold plated 510 make it hit really hard. On the back of the throat, it's really, really hard hitting device. So. Any questions or comments, guys and girls, uh, just leave them under the video or on the on the forum because I do post, as I said before, I do post all my videos up on the forum. Uh, thanks for some great customer service, Elegant Vapor. Uh, I'll be down there again shortly. And uh, like I said, £15. Uh, they do the uh, free delivery on uh, orders over £20. So, uh, and, a, and a great... A great manufacturer infinite at the moment with regards to the clones uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next review thank you guys